My name is Terry Hart and I volunteer at the Port Sage Village Centre in the Old Village. Well, I got involved with my community by coming down to the using the village centre as a young person and I used to, as a young person, do arts and crafts, use computers, do a bit of sports and after a while coming here, uh, Carol approached me because I was year six going into year seven and Carol asked me would I like to volunteer on a Friday night doing arts. So I started volunteering and uh, recently the summer I've just gone I did a cooking project here as a young person so I, I still use the centre as a young person. Well I'm involved uh, in uh, Port Said Youth Forum. Uh, at Port Said Youth Forum right now we are doing a newsletter for young people in Port Slade. Uh, on a Wednesday I volunteer at a cafe uh, and at the cafe I uh, m help to run the t volunteer on the tills, I do teas, coffees, clean the tables for next customers if, they, if people make a mess uh, and I help to clear up at the end of the day there. Sometimes every so often we have a local action team meeting where everyone gets to, people in all the all people in Port Slade get together, well some of them who represent uh, different club, different places. We have the police, we have uh, the council, some council workers going there. On the Friday, uh, I'll fall into it, Play Zone 1, Play Zone 2. Play Zone 1 is with the younger people, uh, primary schools. Uh, we, I've, I've done uh, arts, I've been behind the coffee bar, I've worked outside, I've worked in the ICT room and I've worked in the hall. The staff there are a really good bunch, they are they're the kind of people you need with you when you're volunteering is if you get stuck you can help them, they're there to support you and uh, the, the hard, the, one of the hard things were there is getting to know the kids they don't talk to you, you have to start them talking and uh, before, when I first joined volunteering uh, I didn't really know what to say to them because I was just the thing what I weren't used to. But after a while, getting to know, watching the other staff do it, uh, and getting to watch the playwork team do it, uh, I've got I got better over the years. So now I can speak to the people without being shy or getting up or not freezing up. Proof volunteering at a Stone Park Cafe. Uh, I used to find the public not intimidating but uh, unusual because I haven't actually worked with the public before but working at the cafe got me used to de dealing with the members of the public uh, I used to find uh, uh, the board sort of complicated because there used to be loads of prices and uh, menus on there I found the menus after a while uh, there was quick ways of writing down the orders uh, and I found the till quite hard work to start off with because it's just a totally new gadget what I didn't know much about but if I the the way I improved on the till is if I made a mistake I didn't get shouted that I, I asked what have I done wrong and they showed me how to improve it uh, helped me with the prices so if if I got stuck I could ask for help I didn't need to worry about getting in trouble for not knowing what I was doing. I think it's really beneficial and really important to have young people come and take part and volunteer in their local community. The young people we have here at the centre need a little more direction, a little more structure, and through volunteering they develop really well as a young person. And that is what I've seen in Terry. Uh, one, of my one of the good achievements as a young person was uh, doing a Bridging the Gap event in the Port Said Youth Forum as a group, we worked as a group and planned it and we put on shows, uh, we had raffle what, the reason why it was called Bridging the Gap was to the younger generation and older generation to bring them closer together Well personally I've benefited in the long run is because I have uh, language difficulties uh, what used to be quite hard, I used to find it quite hard to even even talk to people uh, to even uh, volunteer anywhere until uh, I started volunteering coming to youth clubs I didn't have I didn't know how to speak to people my skills uh, 
my skills were really po really poor basically I didn't know what to do about the things and volunteering is basically brought the skills up to really high standards uh, confidence is built up my writing uh, working with other people uh, and that led me to get a job at Sainsbury's Well my views on the community uh, are cha have changed a fair bit actually when I first st moved well in Port Slade uh, the lap meeting has improved quite a fair bit because younger and older generations sit next to each other at the lap meeting we talk, we help each other I think that's quite a good way for the police to start to get on with the young people in Port Slade a couple of years ago that wouldn't have happened well I think it's important because people get in their communities if they get involved in their communities they have you, you have your say in the communities and uh, volunteering in the community, uh, you get to do something, you get to build your confidence and you get to do uh, other things basically, so you get more skills and uh, you get your say. What's probably the quite important thing about your community is you get to say your point across to uh, the council and place, stuff like that. That's how I take part in my community, how are you going to take part in your community?